Hello everyone and welcome to Dots and Nature's tutorial playlist of how to draw flowers. Here we like everything dotty, so I will be showing you how to create pointillism illustrations. There is going to be a new flower tutorial every week and this week is the king cup flower. So welcome back to another video and like I've just said, this is going to be the king cup flower that we're going to be drawing today. Okay, so as always, I'm going to start off the video with showing you the materials that you will need or if you are following my process exactly, these are the materials you need. But if not, obviously you can grab whatever materials you work in or what you would like to work in. So firstly, we start with the HB pencil. Then we use the fine liners. So the fine liners I use is the 0.5 fine liner. And then I use the 0.3 fine liner. And then also the 0.2 fine liner. So the thicker fine liners I use for the outline of the illustration and for the 0.2, so the thinner and smallest fine liner, I use to create all the pointillism, so all the dot elements for the detail and shading of the flower. So as always, the first thing that we will be using is the pencil, because what I will firstly be showing you is how to do a little guide for ourselves. So we're gonna start with a rough little guide, um, breaking it down into sort of shapes and then working our way into creating the flower that we have here. Okay, so this is the reference image that we're working along with today. Um, I like this one because we were able to get a sort of full-on look of the flower and also one at a different angle as well. So I thought it'd be nice to kind of do two of these flowers today. Um, if you do kind of know these flowers, they are sort of like a buttercup sort of flower. They look very similar to that. And they are classed as a British wildflower, so you might commonly see these kind of everywhere. So I thought it'd be nice to do the two because they are very small. Um, and if you were to wanting to use them on for something or to use the illustration for something else, I thought it'd be nice to have the two little versions of this flower. Okay, so like I've just said, we're going to start with our pencil. And the first thing that I'm going to do is make two circles. So a larger circle to emphasize this flower here, a more of a sort of like oval-ish smaller circle here. So start with the larger circle. There we go, so then you can kind of work where the smaller circle is gonna go. There we go, like so. And as always, what I do is I draw the inner part here, so where all the pollen of the flower is. Um, so we're just gonna draw a rough circle for where those will be positioned in the flower too. So a smaller inner circle. And the same for the top one. So they ain't going to be perfectly round, but in this sort of sense, this one will kind of look more overly anyway, so that's totally fine. So like I've explained before in the other videos, I find it always best to break it down into shapes. So originally starting with the circle, and now what we can do next is break down the petals into shapes too. So just drawing rough circles as the guided area that too. Okay so I think I'm going to start with this petal here and we're going to circle this in just so that we've got an idea because as you can kind of see with these petals as well they're not all the exact same shape so this one's a lot more thinner these ones a lot more thicker so they will all be different size. So so will the circles as well that we 
will be following. So this one I'm going to do slightly bigger. And like I always say, you can literally be scruffy with this part. It's not going to be completely accurate lines. We are creating a rough guideline, so it's meant to be rough and scribbly at this point. And I'm going to do the opposite side one here. So there's a bit of a gap there, but this does look like a bigger petal. So I'm going to give that one a bigger circle. Then that one sort of like overflaps. There. And then this more sort of tallish one here. There we go. So you can kind of see it looks kind of like we are trying to interpret a flower at this stage. But obviously that's not accurate for us at the moment. So I'm just going to quickly do the exact same what I've done here with the flower here. So just creating my little rough guidelines. Speed this bit up a little bit for you so that we can get on to the next step. And it will also give you time to add this part in too as well if you'd like to pause the video. There we go, so that's both of those little outlines done now. So now that we've got our rough guide down, and uh, the next step is actually to shape uh, the outline and shape the flower itself a bit more to what we are looking at here. So now I'm still using the pencil at this stage just to kind of tidy up and add more detail to the petals. So I'll again start with this bottom one I think actually as this is where I started. So just to show you now going over it a bit rougher than what we did with the rough circle guides that we just created. And like I always said, as well as a reminder, it doesn't matter if you do slightly go over the guides that you are given. If you feel that's because it looks more accurate to what you're referencing by the side of you, then obviously you can break that barrier they are just the, like I always say, it's just a rough guide. And this one. This is a more bigger petal. There we go, so you can see what I'm sort of getting at now. So I'm using the guides that I've created for the petals and adding more of the shape of what the petal generally looks like. So again, I'll speed this bit up for you. So you now need to do the same as what I'm doing now. So adding more detail to the petals, following this reference image. If it is easier for you, you can just pause this part of the video so that you have this image here for you to follow. So then what I should have when I join back with you is all the petals complete. Okay, so now that I have all the petals with a thicker outline now and looking a lot more like what the actual flower depicts. And so the next step, what I tend to do now is add this more sort of little finer details. As you can see all the pollen in the center part of the flower. Now this one here, we could again draw another circle in the center to kind of give us a guide for the inner part and then we've got a guide for the outer part to these two so I'm just going to quickly draw these in and again I've made them into circles now because these are very fine also um, it's not going to look the exact same 
Um, so with every little one, it's not going to be depicted the same. You can do that if you want to be completely accurate, but I do find it easier to kind of just look at it for its shape and then just sort of add them in as you feel fitting. So I'm just going to add some of these in. the same for this one up here this one's obviously at a different angle so i don't really need to add the center part these ones are more sort of a bit more prominent and standing upwards instead So it's nice to be able to get sort of two different angles of this flower also, which I think is nice to have. As flowers can kind of change their shape and look different depending on the angle of the flower. So I thought it would be quite nice to represent and um, recreate this drawing here because it's got the sort of two different angles of the same type of flower. And there we go. So that's that in a bit too. So that's literally the end of using the pencil now because we've literally got our rough drawing down and we've added the last step, which was the inner part where the pollen of the flower is. So we don't need the pencil anymore. So the next step will be working on the outline of the flower. Now, like I've said in all the other videos to these um, to this series, I do work in fine liners. So the next step will be to use the 0 0.5 fine liner to create a more accurate outline. But it is entirely up to you. You can still follow this step if you like and try experimenting with fine liners if it's something that you haven't used before. Or you can obviously use this part now to add your or use your preferred medium. So whether that be pencil or paints like I've explained before. So instead of me, instead of following me and using the fine liner, you can use your own medium. But if you are following this video entirely because you do want to work in fine liners and in the style of pointillism, then let's continue on to the next step. So here we go using the fine liner. So all we're doing now is using what we have already on the page and we're just going to be tidying it up and creating straight and more accurate outlines to this flower. So I'll show you on a few petals how we're just going to be doing the outline. So you see, we can really see the actual shape of the petals on the flower now. And it gives us this nice standout edge to the flowers. There we go. So again, I'll speed this process up. Um, so I'm just going to be doing the continuous same as what I've just been doing here with all the petals and also the centre part. And then I can tune in for the next step for what we will be doing. So the outline has now been added. So 
so we've got the 0.5 millimeter outline on the petals and then I use the 0.3 millimeter uh, fine liner for the inner part just just because they're a bit more smaller intricate so I didn't want the line to be as thick but I still wanted a nice thick outline to match with the 0.5 so now that we've got that down and we've got our actual outline and structure of the flower down what we can do now is just using a rubber we can get rid of all the pencil markings that we can see so you've got all the the guide that we created originally we no longer need that now because we have used the guide and got our flower down to how we want it so i'm just going to speed this bit up again because it's just going to be me rubbing out but this also gives you the opportunity to rub out your pencil lines too Okay, so also while I was rubbing out the pencil lines, I've just quickly added some stems in also um, because there is a sort of stem running along here. You can't really see this one, but I've decided to add it just kind of below so it looks like they're kind of joining together. The last step to finishing off this flower illustration of the King Cup flower is adding all the pointillism. So this is where we'll be using the 0.2 fine liner to add all the little fine dots now the whole reason for doing the pointillism part to this is so that we add all the detail that we can see on the flower and also to add the shading to the flower so that it gives the flower a bit more depth because at the moment all this is is an outline now if that's something that you wanted to get out of this video was just to get as far as just doing the outline then that's totally up to you this video is still helpful in that way. And what you could even do is add color in whatever medium that you want to with the outline that we've just created now. But if pointillism is something that you want to learn or is something that you are interested in, then this is what the next step is gonna be. So add in all the dots for the finer parts of the detail and the shading. So I've just zoomed the camera in a little bit more for you just to get a little bit closer because obviously this part is going to be a little bit more intricate and detailed. So the closer that I can get you to without sort of disrupting the rest of it, um, we kind of do, you can still see the flower to the side here. Um, what I do will do when you guys will work on doing this part yourselves is I'll zoom back out so that if you are referencing this image beside me, um, you will still be able to see the full image entirely. Okay. So I'm not sure if you can see it too well on the camera, um, but there are very fine sort of lines that go through these petals. So that's why I tend to normally look for at first is all the fine detail of these petals or whatever flower we're drawing. Because what I'll tend to do is create the lines in dots. So then we've still picked up on the pattern of the flower. And also what we'll be using the dots for as well is for the shading. So like this petal here, which is a great example, this sort of corner part here is a lot darker than this area. So that's what I want to show you, which I think I'll start with this petal actually, because I get to show you what happens when we want to create a darker area and a lighter area. So in the darker area, there'll be more dots um, closer together. And in a lighter area, there'll be less dots and there'll be more space. So let's just do the dark bit first. And like I've just mentioned, I kind of always go in a sort of line so that it kind of acts as a guide. There we go. So this, this outer part here is lighter on the edge and then it's sort of darker a little bit on this side. There we go. So you can see what I mean about that the dots are very close together. 
So this from a distance and when you look at it now it looks like a dark area. Whereas the rest of the petal is not as dark, but we still want to add dots because we want to show that that is, there is still obviously an element of colour there. So what we will do instead is to still continue with the theme of all the dots and pointillism. But now you can see there's a lot less dots here, which shows that it is more of a light in the area against this area here, which now looks darker. So that's the way we use pointillism to get that sort of shading uh, element to it. And I will use this petal here, so the one that we started off firstly, because I can see a few lines in here. So I just wanted to show you how I would go about that and how it sort of looks. So sort of one line there. One line going down the center. This one that's sort of close. Like that. Okay, so that's what I sort of mean when I say that I kind of dot the line. So we can still tell that that is kind of meant to be a line now. And the rest of the petal, it's very light at this end of it. So we're not going to put many dots there. It's darker here. And it's dark here. So we're just going to add a few more. It's a little dark there. And then just space out the rest of the dots. Where there's a lighter area. like so. So we've, what I've done here with these petals is added the detail part which is the lines so the detail of the petal and then I've also added the shading part to it as well where some parts are darker than others. So now that I've kind of shown you a close-up way of doing it and kind of slowed it down as well and explained every step I'll now give you the opportunity to do the same as what I've done here but with the rest of the flowers. So like, like I always do at this point is I'll speed this part up because adding all the dots does take time and I will tune back in with you once we've finished adding all the pointillism. what the flower now looks like with all the pointillism added and if you wanted to now that you've got the finished look of it here if you wanted to you could pause the video here and you can kind of look at my sort of interpretation of what I've created here and if you wanted to copy that way that's entirely up to you if you find it easier than trying to be able to do it yourself from the reference image but that's all the pointillism added to the flower. So as you can see now, it's given it a little bit more depth. It's added the detail in. So we've got the lighter and dark areas here. We've got the lines of the petals added in also. But this is all I will be showing you in the video. So all that I use is fine liners and the style of pointillism to create my overall finished look. So I'm just going to zoom in for you guys a little bit without it hopefully blurring. So there's the one flower that is referenced in this one. And then the main flower there that is referencing this one. So this is the final 
illustration of the king cup flower so thank you guys for watching i hope you have found this video very helpful and i hope you were able to draw this flower here whether it be in your own style or whether it be in a completely different outcome or if you have followed step by step how i create this illustration thank you so much for watching and tuning in stay tuned for next week because like i said every thursday we'll be doing a how to draw flower tutorial and there'll be a different flower every single week if you do like this series so far don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and if you do want to see more click the bell icon that way that'll ensure you to notify you every thursday when the video does get uploaded so again i'd like to say thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.